In 2020, the COVID-19 pandemic spread all over the world. It's killing tens of thousands of people in just a few months. The number of dead increasing in the area where the number of individuals in need of hospital care outnumber the number of beds available. The insufficiency of the ventilator is the major issue. The adequate death of medical device can lead to the patient death or alive. And in the pandemic, the demand of the medical device is too high and the cost is also too high. The manufacturer cannot provide the lower price. So as we are the biomedical engineering, we need to do something. Before go deeply into the detail of the ventilator, let's see the mechanism of the respiratory system first. The respiratory system consists of the airway, lung, chest wall, respiratory muscle, and the nerve. These are the six fundamental elements which require to accomplish the crucial process of the gas actions. This component can be classified into two categories. The, uh, the, the anatomic fundamentation of the gas actions and the driving power and liquidation of the gas actions. In this video, we will focus on the airway and lung. The airway, the airway is also called the pulmonary airway or the respiratory tract, refer to the component of the respiratory system that allows the air to pass from the nose and mouth to the alveoli. Lung. Human have two lungs, one of which are the positional in the lip cage. They assemble spunk organ. The take here is divided into two main stem ball kind, each of which is the responsible for one of the lung. Like a tree, each main stem bronchi branch into the smaller and smaller bronchi. A bronchioli is the smallest branch, a collection of tiny air sac called alveoli. It's found at the end of each bronchioli. Each alveolus has a network of capillary, which are the microscopic blood vessel. The alveoli and the bronchioli Exceptional thin wall provide a width extremely thin and their bore surface for the gas actions. How does a ventilator work? A ventilator works by forcing the air into the lung. A positive pressure is the name for this type of pressure. A patient normally exhales the air on their own, although the ventilator will do so as well. A ventilator uses a breathing tube to blow the air into the airway. The tube is put into the patient wire pipe on the one end and connect to the ventilator on the, ad, the another. By allowing the air and oxygen from the ventilator to flow into the lung, the breathing tube acts as the airway. Depending on the patient's medical condition, a respiratory mask may be used instead of the breathing tube. This is our emergency ventilator. The component consists of two categories, control center and the supporting part. In the control center part, can be divided into software and hardware. Let's talk about the hardware first. This part will consist of the motor, the gear, the limit switch for the safety of the emergency ventilator. This part will produce the force to squeeze the ambu back Next is the software part. The software part will consist of the Arduino maker, the motor driver, the ESP32. This is the adapter to generate the power supply to our ventilator. Continue to the software part. This is the sensor, the HX711, which is the pressure sensor. We will connect it to the ESP32, which will send the data to the Arduino to control the motor. Our emergency ventilator consists of two modes. First is the continuous mandatory ventilation or the CMV mode. This is a type of mechanical ventilation in which we are given by the ventilator. The patient cannot breathe at all. The ventilator will run at the parameter which we set. Next is the ACV mode or the assist control ventilator. This mode is important in the recovering patients who are starting to breathe on their own. In essential, 
the patient will wait in naturally while the equipment monitor with the cycling. The ventilator will be helped when the patient is, has the absence of the reading cycle. And this is the CMV mode. You see? We can adjust the ratio, we can adjust the volume of the ventilator. Okay, let's change to the ACV mode. In this mode, we can see the graph on the mobile phone. Thanks for watching.